Today we're going to talk about bows. How they're made, although this is not a course in construction, but why they should be made in a certain way. It's been my privilege to get acquainted with the bows of a man considered to be the Stradivari of bow makers, Francois Tourt. He lived in Paris, born 1747, died 1835. He was principally responsible for the development of the French school of violin playing at the Paris Conservatory because his bows were so significant in the development of their technique. To begin with, we have bow blanks, the wood that we use to start the bow. All wood is not equal. Some is much more resonant than others, even from the same species, even in the same tree. When I start to make a bow, I select my wood based upon the resonance that I hear in the wood itself. A way to test that is to find a place where it will vibrate. Quickly hold it to my ear and listen. It's a very beautiful sound. I'm sorry that you probably cannot hear it from there, but come to the shop. We'll do it together. The things I seek are a steady sinusoidal waveform without interfering notes. In other words, a pitch that's pure. I want it to vibrate as long as possible, as loud as possible, die away slowly and always retain that pure tone because the bow can transmit that to the violin. If the bow has no inherent vibratory life, it's just like an Australian boomerang that doesn't come back to you. It's just a stick. We want something that will come back to you or that you will come back to again and again because of its superior playing qualities and the sound that it will help you make on your violin, viola, or cello. An important part of this is that the harmonic spectrum can be maintained without distortion if the wood vibrates as regularly as it can. Hence the reason to select very carefully. Although Pernambuco is now considered an endangered species from Brazil, I think we necessarily have to be very much on the lookout for wood that still remains can be used for bows. I had opportunity to look at 300 pieces of Pernambuco a couple of years ago to select more. And of those 300, I only chose one, and it did not fully reach the criteria that I've just described to you. 